Hello lovelies. This is the maidenhair stitch. It's a member of the feather stitch family. I've drawn a T shape to keep me on track. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our needle up through the fabric at the very middle of that top line. And then we're going to take our needle down through the fabric a small stitch length away. Keep your loop. You're going to need it. Bring your needle up through the fabric on that center line. This is the first stitch on your maiden hair. We're going to take our needle down through the fabric on that top line, small stitch length away from the previous stitch. Keep the loop and bring your needle up through on the center line. We're going to do one more of these. We're going to take the needle down through the fabric on the top, same stitch length away and then back up on that center line, pulling it through the loop. Now we're going to change sides and we're going to do this exactly the same way we did the first set of stitches. A small distance away, keep a loop and then we're going to bring our needle up through the fabric on that center line. If it helps, draw yourself an extra line underneath where you want this next row of stitches to be level with. So the second stitch, again, going into the fabric level with that first stitch and then we're going to come up through the loop on that centre line. One more of these. You can do as many as you like. You can do three, four, five. Um, I've done three. And then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And the way we would finish off this row of stitches is when we get to that very last stitch at the bottom, we're going to bring our needle through the loop and then go back down into the fabric just slightly below it, right underneath, just there. And that's the maidenhair stitch, perfect for things like seaweed. I've added some berry stitches here to make it look like seaweed. Happy stitching.